Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the Rockstar Games Launcher error code 130 that you are receiving on your Windows computer when attempting to launch the Rockstar Games application. So generally this would occur when the Steam Helper crashes and is unable to verify your game is installed properly on your computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in services, best match, or come back with services. Go ahead and open that up. Now you want to go and locate the Rockstar Game Library service. So I don't actually have it installed on my computer, but the process will be identical. So you would go again down to the Rockstar Games Library service. You would locate it in this list. And once you had it open, you would go ahead and start or stop the service. So let's go ahead and actually start the service, and then we're going to stop it and then start it again. Basically, we want to restart the service, essentially. And then once you're done with that, you would select Apply and OK. Something else you want to look into as well, if you wanted to open up the search menu and search for Rockstar Games. Like I said, I don't have it installed on my computer. I'm just going to search for Chrome, for example. But in your case, search for Rockstar Games. You'd right-click on the best match in here, and you would select Open File Location. You would right-click on the shortcut up for it, and it would be highlighted once it opens up in this folder. So you'd right-click on that, and you would select where it says Show More Options. And then you would select Properties. Select the Compatibility tab at the top. And then underneath the Compatibility Mode section, check mark where it says Run this program in Compatibility Mode 4. And then once that's done, select Apply and OK. Windows 8 is fine. If you wanted to set it to Windows 7, you could try that as well. But you know, if you're on Windows 11, you might want to try Windows 10. It just depends on what you're looking to accomplish. And then once that's done, you can close out of here. Open up the search menu, type in update, best match, or come back with settings, or check for updates. You can select either way. I'm going to go ahead and just open up settings here, and then select Windows Update on the left panel. If you select the check for updates, it might take you right here immediately anyway, but just showing if you wanted to go through the settings main interface, just going from the main settings page and then navigating to it. And you want to go underneath advanced options, so select that, and then Go underneath Additional Options and select Optional Updates. Select Driver Updates. And then if you see any driver updates in here for Rockstar Games or graphics drivers like display drivers, I would recommend installing them. Check mark the box. Select Download and Install. Let it install. And then you want to restart your computer once that's done. And then hopefully your issue has been resolved. So. As always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.